if you're not about that juice life, you need to start being about that juice life. Okay. <clears throat> I'm aware. I am very aware how I look right now. Okay, but that's not the point. The point of this video is to give you guys a week in my eating habits because so many of you ask me the things that I eat. Am I vegetarian? Am I vegan? Do I eat this? Do I eat that? So I have just decided to film a week of me eating to show you guys exactly how I eat. So it's about 12 o'clock. Usually I don't have my first meal till about 2 o'clock, but since I've been quarantined and you know, when you have nothing to do, you tend to eat. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I usually don't start eating till about two o'clock, but it's about 12 o'clock right now and I'm having my first meal, which is this Alpha Juice from Alpha Juice Company. And this is a beet blend of juice and I'm gonna put all the ingredients right here. So I usually like to start my day off with a fresh juice. I usually go to Mother's and I get a fresh juice there or I'll go to one of my spots and I'll get a fresh juice from there. You guys seen in, I think it was um, one of my videos. I think it was like the vlog video um, that I did, the vlog that I did, and I had a fresh juice. That's how I like to start my day off usually. Um, so I'm gonna link, oh. <laughs> so I'm gonna link this company down below so you guys can check them out. They send you fresh juices and they, it comes refrigerated and everything. I think I probably showed you guys a clip on how it came here either before or after this clip, I'll show you guys. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and drink my juice. Milana's not hungry. She usually is not too hungry in the morning. And so yeah, we're just gonna go through a whole week. And I might be looking like this a whole week, but. All right, guys, so this is my shipment that I got from Alpha Juice Company. And let me tell you, I absolutely love this juice. Now, I had a vlog where I was explaining to you guys how I like to start my day off with a fresh juice. And this is just right on time because it actually gets delivered to my front door. Now, they ship it with some cold pack so that your juice stays fresh and in the bag you get a little cup and you get this really cute little wristband and it says keep it juicy i thought that was really cute <laughs> there you go keep it juicy yeah <laughs> all right so basically this is the blend that i have so i have the beets blend which is beet carrot pineapple and lime and then I get ginger added to mine and you can also get whatever you want uh, different adaptogens um, added to your juice and this is uh, make America juice again I believe and this is celery pineapple lime and I forget the other one but I'm going to link everything down below so you guys can check them out um, if you don't live around somewhere where there's fresh juice I highly recommend this company and you'll be seeing them throughout my vlog so Let's get started with my dinner. <laughs> All right, so this is what I'm having for dinner. Now, as you saw from my previous clip, I had a juice first and I was not hungry until I reached about seven o'clock. So we ordered some Indian food. So I got the grilled salmon, basmati rice, and then it came with this uh, feta and strawberry salad. And then Kasaw got chicken and shrimp masala. And then we got a side of naan. It looks like this. It's so bomb. And I got two samosas, one for me, one for Milana. Milana got a side of rice. And... She also got a side of chicken, and then I got two masala sauces on the side to go with my salmon. So that's what I'm going to have for dinner, and this was literally the only thing that I ate other than my juice. So it really curbs your appetite, and I've already lost 24 pounds. So, All right, so this is the next day, and I'm starting my day off with my juice again. Let me tell you guys, this is just right on time for me. So I'm starting my day off with my Beats Blend juice, and it's absolutely amazing. And so now let's go to dinner because... It was, you know, the only th other thing that I had. My appetite was completely curbed until dinner. So let's go to dinner. 
All right, you guys, so this is called banhoi, and it is a traditional Cambodian type of dish that you would eat. So basically, this is how the spread looks. I'm going to go over each one with you guys so you can get a little bit more in-depth understanding on what it is that I am eating. I know it just looks like a plate full of greens and rabbit food, but I assure you it's not. <laughs> All right, so this is the sauce, and it's called pate, and it's basically like a very sweet, vinegary, um, sauce. It has fish sauce in there. It's so good. You just, you have to try it. And then um, he sauteed some green onions with some garlic. And then we got a whole chicken. And um, yeah, we cut up some lettuce and some cucumbers. And I'm just going to show you the sauce right now. This is how it looks. You guys, it is so good. It's, this is one of my favorite like Cambodian dishes to eat. Southeast Asian dishes, shall I say. And these are the peanuts. And I'm going to show you um, how we got the peanuts like this because they started off raw. So the first thing we do is turn on stove. And these are the peanuts. We get them from the Asian market. They're raw peanuts with the shells on them. They have two different kinds. They have the red and they have these. So then we just toast them with the shell on there. Toast them however toasty you want them. And then throw them in the blender blend them up and then after that you should have something like this and that is what you add into your tukdre, into your fish sauce so uh, traditionally people make their uh, fish sauces um, they have palm sugar it has vinegar it has a uh, fish sauce garlic chilies um, i just add a little bit more chili because i like it really really spicy um, but we just buy it from the asian market um, already made because um older Cambodian ladies they they be throwing down with it so this is the um Asian basil and it has really really pretty purple flowers on the ends and I'm actually growing some of these in my garden they're so pretty and it tastes so good it tastes way better than regular regular basil all right, and so now, like I said, I cut up some cucumber, not regular cucumber, the Persian ones, the smaller ones, because they're not bitter. And then um, we have green onions, and then we have romaine lettuce and the Asian basil. And normally we would have mint, but we didn't have mint with this one. And this is pretty much how it looks, and this is how you pretty much assemble it. So you take the lettuce and you put your chicken, or you can do this with pork, you can do this with fish. We've done it with fish plenty of times, um, but we wanted to make a couple of meals out of the week, so we did a whole chicken. All right, so you take the chicken or whatever kind of meat you're using, and then I went ahead and took my green onions. So essentially, it's like a, a egg roll, but without the shell, I guess. I mean, if I can really explain it, but it, okay, it's almost like a salad, but not like in a whole bowl like mixed together i don't know it's really hard to explain you guys can see and then you take your mint um and you can take your other um herbs there's sawtooth there's um there's different herbs you know southeast asian herbs that we use but you know since everything is so scarce now this is what we found at the asian market and i don't even think that he looked for any other herbs but this is typically traditionally what we use and then you roll it up like that and then you dip it in the tukte. And it's so bomb. You get all those peanuts. I actually added more peanuts to it as I was eating it. And then you can also like just pick your cucumbers up, dip your cucumbers. You guys, it is so good. And it's so nutritional for you. Like it, it has, like it's just packed, okay? It's packed with nutrients and vitamins and all that good stuff and minerals. And the thing about this is that you can eat a lot of it and not feel full, but it's okay because it's healthy. And it's not like you're going to burn out all of your calories. Like you're not going to get all your calories in on this one you know, dish. But I love this because, like I said, this is the only thing else I had to eat other than my juice. Yep. Yeah, so that's how it looks. It's so good. If you are not about that juice life, you need to get on that juice life. <laughs> mm. Guys, this is so perfect. Starting your day out with something as simple as fresh juice, it'll get you in the rhythm throughout the day to want to eat healthier. It's like, how do you start your day off like this and end it crappy? Psychologically, doing something healthy in the beginning of your day kind of sets 
the pathway for your whole day to be as healthy as it possibly can especially if you have trouble you know in taking your fruit and your vegetables starting your day off like this you guys I'm telling you it's a hit okay it'll benefit your body your cells your organs your skin your hair i'm highly recommending this mm. <laughs> All right, guys, so as you saw by my previous clip, I had a juice for lunch. I didn't eat breakfast, I just drank water, and I had my juice, and now this is dinner. So basically, we decided to make ramen. Now, we made ramen out of the leftover chicken that we had. We just boiled it down, you know, boiled it with some herbs and some ginger and some spices and concocted all this. So this is my bowl. I have green onions. I have tacon, which in English, it would be a... Uh, water spinach um there's chicken in here there's a lot of goodness in here so i'm gonna go through with you guys how we made the broth and um yeah how we just assembled everything now this is my sesame seed oil you can't have ramen without like sesame seed oil excuse the screaming in the back little mama is going crazy <laughs> all right so we're gonna show you guys how we made this ramen all right so Basically, what we did is we boiled down the whole chicken. So there's bones and everything in here because, of course, it yields a whole lot of flavor. Now, we added ginger. Um, he added onion. He added, what else did he add in here? Ginger, onion. I don't know. I forget. Okay, and so then this is the chicken that we sliced off of the bone before we threw it in there because this is going to top off our ramen. Okay. Oh, garlic. Yeah, garlic. So he's just staring it up. I think he was telling you guys what he put in there, but I just did a voiceover because it was just all types of noise in this vlog. So that's the whole bone that we just threw in there. And we're just going to boil it down. We boiled this down for about a good hour and a half to get all the flavors. So that's what it is. All right. So this is after maybe like an hour and a half. And as you can see, the broth has darkened a little bit. The aroma is filling and smelling so good. Um, I think at this point he added in Asian basil, I believe. I think he did. Yeah, he definitely did. Yeah, he did. And these are just the regular ramen noodles out of the ramen pack, but we did not use the seasoning. Okay, we're making our own broth here. So this is the uh, the tacon I was telling you about. This is the water spinach. You guys, it's so good. I know it doesn't necessarily look like spinach because it's a lot bigger, but the flavor is amazing. Usually, traditionally, they just cook this down and use it as like a side dish, but we cooked it down and we put it in our ramen. The stems are good. The leaves are good. You can stir fry it with chicken, which I meant to put that meal in here, but I can't find the footage of that. But yeah. So this is how my bowl looked after all of that. Yes, it's nighttime, okay? This is how it looked all day. Don't judge. And we eating. I think it's about like 9 o'clock at this point. So I am trying my ramen. He is all up in my face. You guys are so flipping good. It's so good. How's your ramen? Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. It's your favorite. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is the next day, and I decided to have salmon again because you guys know I love salmon, and I made this with like a white sauce, a white spinach, and a roasted red pepper sauce, and I ate it with mashed potatoes, and it was so good. So, this is typically how I eat in a week, you guys. I eat predominantly healthy i mean tonight i ate pizza don't judge but you know i do try to eat as healthy as i can because it's so good for your body and for your soul so eat healthy and i hope you guys enjoyed this i love all you guys and i will see you in my next video don't forget to rate comment and join into the tribe i love you all until next time bye